here we are in my nursery and I have some rhino rat snakes that um, have been a little difficult to get over onto uh, pinky mice and so I just want to show you one I don't know kind of little trick that I've used to uh, to kind of entice them to come over to pinky so here I've got a uh, frozen thawed pinky that just thawed out in warm water. This snake right here has been a little picky on eating so I'm just gonna put it in the water here and just dangle it. Basically now the mouse you want to resemble some sort of aquatic animal whether it be a frog or a tadpole or a minnow um, and just not being too too crazy kind of gentle and then they'll show some some interest and the trick is to not scare them. So don't be too forceful. And just be really patient. And let that curiosity, let that interest take over. Boom, that's what you want. So we agitated him enough to get a response, okay? He was curious, but he wasn't afraid. Now if they're afraid, sometimes it's hard to get them out of that, that fear mode and get them into a, an eating response. Now, uh, now, there's a difference between being afraid and being kind of aggressive or defensive. I shouldn't say aggressive, but defensive. So sometimes, especially in the water, a defensive strike can be just as good or almost as good, I should say, as a, as a feeding strike. So sometimes you're just annoying them enough to where they bite. But that, that line between annoyance and fear is sometimes pretty fine, and you don't want to cross it. Because once you cross it, and they're afraid it's hard to get back but but I didn't put this snake in the water I just waited for her to to be in the water uh, I found that if you um, if you put them in the water you s might get similar results but I found that they're, if they're already in the water if you can catch them in the water then um, then it, it, the results are a lot better and they're in the water pretty often so it's not that hard to to catch them in the water but but he's committed to this he's he's gonna he's gonna eat it down so that's awesome and it only takes a couple times you know sometimes just once and then they get their confidence and uh, and they're great feeders after that The key is just to be super patient. Um, you know, you can't force the snake to do anything. So just be super patient and uh, and persistent. And eventually they'll come around. <laughs>